Hello everyone and welcome back to my Introduction to C series. Today we're going to learn about branching and we're going to start right now. So last time we left off with basic variable declarations and some increment, decrement operators, things of that nature. But now we're gonna talk about something called branching, which allows us to have our program do more than just one thing. The basic concept of branching is branches in logic. And so let's say that we had, for example, a, let's say that we had an integer called number and it's set to two. And now let's say that we wanted to check that particular number to say, hey, if this number is greater than one, maybe we wanna we want do one thing. If it is less than zero, maybe we want to do another thing. Otherwise we want to do something else entirely different, right? Say we've got that sort of decision that we wanna make and we wanna go down different paths of code for each one of those decisions. And so the way that we would do that is with what's called an if. And an if has an open close parenthesis and an open close curly bracket. Okay. And basically what it's saying is any code that's inside these parentheses right here in this if statement is what we call it. If whatever this is evaluates to true, then we want to execute the code in between these two curly braces. Okay. And the code that exists in here can only ever evaluate to true or false, right? So it's an expression that either evaluates to some sort of Boolean, either a true or a false. In this case, we can say, uh, if number is greater than one, this will evaluate to true or false, right? Either the number is gonna be greater than one or it's not gonna be greater than one. And so, for example, we can say printf and we'll say the number is greater than one. Okay, this line of code will only be executed if number is greater than one. So the next thing we'll wanna look at is if that's not the case, we want to run a alternative block of code. And to do that, we use what's called an else statement or an else block. And similar to the if block, it has open and close curly braces, but uh, obviously because this is handling all cases that this does not handle, uh, it does not have any parentheses, okay? And so we can write here printf the number is not greater than one. Okay, let me get rid of this here. And so we have branches in our logic, right? We literally are saying if the number is greater than one, we want to execute this, but not this. Otherwise, we don't want to execute this, but we do want to execute this. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and make main and dot slash main. And we see here that the number is greater than one. I actually forgot to put my backslash n, so let me fix that real quick. And rebuild. Okay, so it says here the number is greater than one. And if we, of course, change this to one, and build again, we see indeed that the number is not greater than one because it is one. What if we wanted to add another condition to this, right? What if we wanted to add, say, a, a third branch of logic that we wanted to go down? We could simply space this down and say else if, and for example, number equals zero, okay? And we have our open bracket and our closed bracket here, right? And so the else if is like a combination of the else and the if, right? So it's saying if this is true, otherwise if this is true, otherwise do this, okay? So um, in this case, we're checking to see if number equals zero. Now, I wanna take a second to point out that I'm using a new operator here that we have not seen before, which is the double equals. In C, there is a explicit difference between the single equals operator and the double equals operator. 
the single equals is for assignment. So it is basically saying this is equal to this. The double equal is asking a question, is this equal to this? So it's very, very important to get that right because technically speaking, this will compile where you're just assigning number to zero, right? Uh, and that is definitely a bug and we do not want bugs in our code. So you definitely want to be absolutely sure that you're using the correct operator here when you're checking to see if a value equals something versus assigning a value to something. Just wanted to point that out. So in this case, if number is equal to zero, then we're gonna say printf, the number is zero. And we'll put our backslash n. Okay, go ahead and build that. And you'll note that we still got the number is not greater than one because it did not actually meet this criteria because I forgot to switch this. So let me change the number to zero just so that we can see that in action. And now we see here that the number is indeed zero. Okay, so this is the basis for branching in C. It's actually pretty straightforward when you stop and think about it. And there's a lot you can do with this, right? It's super, super powerful. There's so many things uh, that you can do with, with if, else if, and else. In fact, your programs throughout the future are gonna use these many, many, many times over. So one more thing that I wanna show you is what if we wanna check if the number is greater than or equal to one, right? So let's say we have one here and we wanna say, well, if it's, if it's one or greater, um, how do we do that? Well, there's, there's basically two ways we could do that. We can use the operator, which is greater than or equal to, right? So it reads pretty much like it, uh, it, it's typed. So you just use the greater than symbol and the equal. So it says if number is greater than or equal to one, then we can actually just say, we'll just print that same thing here for now. So if we make this, now we see the, great, the number is greater than or equal to one. And just to test that this is true, go ahead and change that to a two. And indeed, we get the expected result. But there's another way to do this. If we wanna to check to see if it's greater than or equal, we could use the equal operator. And we can actually put in a second condition within this same if statement, right? To check to see if the number is greater than one. The way that we check this or this is we actually use a new operator in between those conditions, which is a double pipe, which is actually the key that is just above your enter key on American keyboards. And so what this is basically saying is if this evaluates to true or this evaluates to true, then execute what's in this block. So if we go ahead and compile and run, we see that the number is greater than or equal to one. And so as you might imagine, there are, will be many cases where you'll have conditions that uh, want to check multiple things, right? And so the way that C actually handles this is it checks each condition before moving on to the next one. So in the case of an or, if this condition comes out to be true, it doesn't even bother executing this one. It just executes this one and then moves on to this. So bear that in mind when you're actually structuring your program. However, if this evaluates to false and then this evaluates to true, this will still execute anyways. Now, as you can imagine, there's an and equivalent to this as well, right? So what if we want both things to have to be true in order to actually execute this block? And that operator, as you may have guessed, is ampersand ampersand, which is saying this and this have to be true. Now, obviously this statement won't work as is. So we're actually gonna change this first block to say, um, if number is not equal to one, right? So if it's not equal to one, which we say not equal to is the uh, not is basically this operator right here, the exclamation point. Exclamation points in C are a way of saying something is not true. And we'll get a little bit more into that in the future where we'll see some additional examples of that. But this operator here is saying not equal. So how we have this operator here to say, is this equal? This is saying, is this not equal? So we have to, we're saying here, check that the number is not equal to one and that the number is greater than one, okay? Which in this case should meet because it's two. So we'll make main and we can see here that the number is greater than or equal to one, okay? 
Now, by proxy, if we set this to negative two and build and run, we see that we get this number is not greater than one. So it gets that because number is not equal to one is indeed true because it's negative two, but it fails the second condition where number is greater than one because it's negative two. So because this is an and, it fails this entire condition. So we check this next one. If number equals zero, well, it's not equal to zero, it's negative two. So it doesn't count for that one either. So obviously it falls into the else block where we get this. Okay, so that is basic branching. Obviously there is a lot more to it. There are other features and other keywords that we're going to introduce over time. But for now, that is the introduction to branching in C. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and click the like button there. It helps me out a lot. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. Hit that little bell there so you get notifications as to when new videos in this series or homebrew journey drops. And I will see you guys in the next video.